by the end of this video you'll know everything about hand grab interaction or maybe most of it you'll see how to grab an object using one hand two hands combination of both you'll see how to grab an object and make it rotate about a pivot point you'll see how to grab an object and constrain it to one particular plane and in the end you'll also see how to grab an object just by touching its surfaces let's get started all right so here we have a sample scene that has already been set up for hand interaction now if you want to know how that's done then you should definitely check out this video over here but let me tell you briefly how i set up the scene first i created a new scene then i got rid of the main camera i added the room environment prefab i added a skybox then i added interaction rig OVR and for the interaction rig OVR we added the OVR hands and finally we made few more changes for the OVR camera rig and the first one was to change the tracking origin type to floor level the other one was to uh, enable hand tracking so the tracking support should be controllers and hands so this is the sample scene setup for hand interaction all right now let's see how to grab object using our hands now the first thing that we need here is an interactable now interactable is any object that you can interact with so in my case is going to be a cube so you can use any object of your choice i'm going to scale it down to 0.2 and let me bring this over the table perfect so now in order to make it interactable we need to add a few components the first one is going to be a rigid body component here we can uncheck gravity later on i'll show you how to use gravity and add physics to it next we need the grabbable component and finally, we need another component called as hand grab interactable. Now let's make sure that all the fields have been correctly assigned. So if we scroll down, make sure that the rigid body has been assigned. And here we need to make sure that the grabbable component has been assigned as well. Now the rest of the fields can remain as it is. Next, we need to add an interactor so that we can interact with these interactables. Now there are various type of interactor like grab interactor, poke interactor and ray interactors. But for this video, we are going to focus on the grab interactors. So let us go to the project window and search for hand grab interactor. There we go. This is the one that we need and open up the interaction OVR rig. We'll open up the OVR hands left hand right hand both of them we need to drag this and drop it inside the hand interactor left and same thing for the right hand as well next select the hand interactor left drag and drop this inside the interactors same thing for the right hand once again and that's it so now we can save the scene and let's test this out now here i have set up my headset to the laptop and i'll be using airlink to test it out directly from the unity editor now if you want to know how that's done then you should check out this video over here so now let's go and press the play button and here my hands are seen let's see if i can grab this so there we go i'm able to grab the cube with my left hand i'm able to grab it with my right hand as well so but you can see that it's kind of uh, weird like the it's floating around that's because we have not enabled is kinematic so that's why you can see this kind of an action happening all right so let's exit the play mode we'll select the cube and let's enable is kinematic now and press play once again mm, grab it here we go now you can see that the cube stays at its position and there's no weird physics acting on it but uh, there's one more feature that I want to show you here. So in the grabbable, there's an option called transfer on second hand. So if this is checked, what happens is I can select with one hand. Then when I grab it with the other, it automatically gets deselected from the other hand. So that's what we can use the component for. So it's, you can select with one hand and it gets deselected from the other. All right, so now let's exit the play mode. Now let's see how to add physics to interactable objects. We need to understand that the way physics works with hand interaction is different from the regular interactions. So there are some more components that we'll have to add in order for it to work correctly. Now, first thing that we need to add is to the cube, the interactable object is the physics grabbable component. So you can search it and add it. So here we have the physics grabbable component. Next, we need to go to the hand grab interactable component Open the drop down of optionals, select physics grabbable component and drag it and drop it inside the physics grabbable field. Next, we need to open the interaction OVR camera rig, select the hand grab interactor and here you can see that inside hand grab interactor we have an option called as velocity calculator. So let's go ahead and add that component. So click on add component, search for standard velocity calculator and add that component now this component needs a throw input device so let's go ahead and add that component as well so you can click on add component and search for input and here you should be able to find hand pose input device so you can add that component drag and drop it in here and we need to add the hand so it's going to be the left hand we'll do the same for the right hand as well so select hand grab interactor let's add standard velocity calculator then let's add another component 
which is going to be hand pose input device and let us drag and drop the right hand here and drag and drop this into this field all right so now once again let's save the scene and test this out okay here i have my cube i can grab it with this hand and you can see that the physics is working perfectly fine now i can i'm not able to throw it right now and that's because uh, we haven't done one more step which is to add the standard velocity calculator to the hand grab interactor so let's do that let's exit the play mode go back to ovr rig select the hand grab interactor and over here let's open the optional menu and let us drag and drop this here so you can see that we have added the velocity calculator same thing for the right hand as well all right now let's save the scene once again and test this out okay so let me drop this so the physics is working fine now i can throw this as well now if you're wondering how to interact the object using two hands don't worry it's really simple i'm going to show it to you so you can select the cube and scroll down and add a component called as two grab free transformer so let's add that there we go then you need to open the optional menu from the grabbable component and let us you can either drag and drop it there or since it's already attached to the cube i'm just going to take this drag and drop it inside to grab transformer and that's it so now you can again save the scene and test this out all right so here i have the cube in front of me and i'm not able to grab it using one hand but when i use two hands i'm able to grab it and i can scale them as well now there has to be some way in which we can limit the scaling value or probably you don't want it to scale so we can do that as well. So let's exit the play mode and scroll down to the two grab uh, free transformer that component that's there. We can select constraint minimum scale and maximum scale. Now the current scale is 0.2 so probably I can reduce it to 0.1 and the maximum scale would be 0.3. Alright so now you can grab it and now you can see that you cannot uh, scale it more than 0.3 and you cannot scale it down more than 0.1. So we have fixed it. Now if you don't want it to scale it then you can set the minimum and maximum scale as the same scale value that you have for your object. Now while testing the two hand interaction you might have noticed that you're not able to grab it with one single hand but only with two hands. Now what if you want to grab it with one hand and two hands is that possible yes it is all you need to do is select the interactable object that you have scroll down and add a component called as one grab free transformer and then we'll have to do the same thing once again open up uh, the optional menu from grabbable component and we here we have an option called as one grab transformer so we will add it we need to add the one grab free transformer so select that component now save it and let's test it and see how this works all right so here i have the cube and I'm able to grab it with one hand and I'm able to grab it with both the hands, scale it up, drop it down and use this as well. Now there's one thing that you need to keep in mind. In the grabbable component, we have the option called as transfer on second hand. Now if you have this enabled, then you'll not be able to use uh, two hands for interaction. So I can show it to you here. All right, so here we have the cube and let me select the transfer on second hand so here now you can see that i can interact with one hand and when i grab the other hand it gets transferred but i'm not able to scale it or do anything so make sure that this is unchecked if you want to have one grab and two grab transformer working together on a single game object all right now let's move on and see how we can grab an object and make it rotate about a pivot point so for that i'm going to duplicate this uh, cube that i have and bring it to the right here and i'm going to scale it to make it look more like a door there we go. So for this, uh, the components are going to remain the same. It needs a rigid body component, a grabbable component, hand grab interactable component. We do not need any physics grabbable component. So let's go ahead and remove this. And in the rigid body, we'll uncheck gravity and make sure that it, it is is kinematic is on. And let's go ahead and get rid of the two grab free transformer and one grab free transformer. So just a quick recap. So if you want to have an object which you want to rotate it about a pivot point, then you need to add a rigid body to it make sure that the ease kinematic is checked add the grabbable component add the hand grab interactable component and make sure that these two fields are filled as well next you can scroll down and add a component called as one grab rotate transformer so this is the component that we need let's scroll up open up the optional menu from grabbable component drag and drop the one grab rotate transformer that we added in this particular field here now we also need a pivot point so if you check the uh, pivot point it needs a transform so let's go ahead and create an empty game object we'll call this as pivot point and we want to align this pivot point to one of the edge so we can do that using vertex snapping so all you need to do is press and hold the v key on your keyboard click on the game object that you created drag it and drop it to the edge 
of one, any one of the edge of the game object that you have. So this is going to be my pivot point. So I'm going to select the cube again, scroll down and let us add drag and drop this over here. Perfect. Now just rename this to door. There we go. Now one thing to remember is that make sure that the pivot point is never a child of the game object that is rotating. And that's because when the door is rotating, the pivot point will also rotate, which will cause unwanted rotation. So this has to always be outside and not a child of the object that is rotating. And I think that's about it. We can also have a constraint here. So probably I'll show it during runtime. So let's save the scene, press play and test this out. All right, so here I can see my door. I can grab it and you can see that I'm able to rotate it about that pivot point that I have set. Now, if you want it to be constrained between certain angles, you can do that as well. So you need to go to the one grab rotate transformer. We can set constrain the minimum angle and maximum angle. The minimum would be minus 45, which means it's going to be towards me. And the maximum value is going to be plus 45, which is going to be away from me. There we go. And here you can see that I'm not able to pull it more than minus 45 and I'm not able to push it more than 45 degrees. So I, I have constrained the angles as well. Perfect. Nice. All right, so now imagine that you have to create an interaction wherein you allow the user to grab an object, but you want to constrain the moment only in one particular plane. And that's possible as well. Now to do that, let's go ahead and duplicate this cube over here. And I'm just going to hide the cube that we initially created. And probably let's call this as constraint cube. So I'll rename this as constraint cube now once again for the uh, object that you want to constrain the components are still going to remain the same you can add a, a rigid body you can use either use gravity or you can use is kinematic now for now i'm going to make sure that i'm just going to check is kinematic a grabbable component a hand grab intractable component and we don't need physics grabbable right now so i'm going to remove that we don't want the transformer component so let's remove that as well so quick recap we have a constraint cube we have a box collider a rigid body which is is kinematic checked we have the grabbable component and we have the hand grab intractable component now in order to constrain it in one particular plane we need to add a component called as one grab translate transformer so this is the component that we need and here you can see that we have the minimum x minimum y values that we can set so to quickly set the x and y values i'm going to change the scene here and you can see that i'll drag this cube over here and let us see the x values so this is going to be my minimum x value so i'm going to copy it scroll down constrain it to this value and i'm going to copy the z value as well so copy the z value scroll down minimum z value constrain it there we go next i'm going to move it to the other end over here like this and let's copy paste the x and z values once again but this time these are going to be the maximum values there we go let's copy the z value constrain it paste it here okay uh, then you can constrain the max y value as well so i'm going to constrain it to the exact value that is there so that you cannot pick it up so the value is going to be 9.81 for both so minimum and maximum are going to be the same. Now there's one last step that we need to do and that is to open the optional menu and drag and drop the one grab uh, translate transformer component in that. Let's bring the cube back here. Let's select the door and disable it for now. Save the scene and let's test this out. Okay, so here I can see the cube. I can grab it. Now if I try to pull up, I'm not able to because it is constrained in Y direction at that particular value and I can move it to this end, but you can see that I'm not able to move it beyond that limit. Now this is gonna be true for all the four edges. So since I've constrained it to this particular plane, I'll be able to move the cube only around that area. So till now, in order to grab an object, you had to either pinch it or you could grab it by making a fist. But what if I want to grab an object just by touching its surfaces? Is that possible? Yes, it's possible now with the latest Oculus SDK that we have. And I'll show you how to do exactly that. All right, so here let's get rid of all the previous game object that we have and let's go ahead and create another cube let us scale it down to 0.2 once again and bring it up here there we go so now i'm going to rename this cube as touch cube now like before there are some components that we need to add and the first one is going to be a rigid body component and here we'll uncheck gravity and use kinematic next we're going to add the grabbable component and then let's add, instead of adding hand grab interactable component that we added previously, we're gonna use touch hand grab interactable component. 
that's the only difference and it needs a pointable element which is nothing but the grabable so let's drag and drop this here it needs a bounce collider so we're going to use the same collider that's already there so just drag and drop it here and then we need to provide some more collider so suppose if your game object is made up of several different objects and it has different colliders then you'll have to add all of them in here so but since i have just one i'm just going to add that one single collider here all right so we have set up the interactable now we need to set up the touch interactor as well so to do that you need to open up the interactor ovr rig and like how we search for hand grab interactor similarly we need to search for touch hand grab interactor and this is the one that we need ovr touch hand grab interactor you can select it and drag and drop it inside the interactor left same thing for the right hand as well and just like before we need to select the hand interactors left drag and drop it in here same thing for the right hand as well now if we select the touch hand grab interactor here you can see that it needs a synthetic hand so the normal hand visuals that we have will not work so we'll go ahead and disable this for both left hand and right hand now we'll have to search for the synthetic hand so we have the ovr left hand synthetic and ovr right hand synthetic so these are the two prefabs that we need now it is important that the placement of these synthetic hands are inside the ovr hands and not inside left hand and right hand so let's just close this to make sure that we are having the right placement select it and drag and drop it inside ovr hands same thing for the right hand as well now if you place this inside left or right hand it's not going to work so make sure that they are outside now once we have the synthetic hand we need to provide the data source so for the left hand synthetic it's going to be left hand and for the right hand it's going to be the right hand now let's open this up select the touch hand grab interactor drag and drop the left hand synthetic open up the right hand select the interactor once again and drag and drop the right hand and that's about it so let's save the scene and press play to test it out all right so here i have my cube and you can see that i don't really have to pinch it completely i can just hold it like this and i'm able to grab the cube i can grab it from the side like this as well so this feels more natural than the other one you don't have to record your hand pose as well you can just come here and you're able to interact with the cube i think the only downside is that uh, right now we are not able to add physics grabable to it so i'm not able to add physics to it but or else generally this is a very nice interaction if you don't have any physics involved with the particular interaction that you are creating all right so you learned a lot about hand grab interaction in this video but i didn't include concepts like recording your hand pose or grabbing an object and using the movement of your thumb and index to trigger some events so if you want to know how that's done then do let us know in the comments below and i'll definitely make one video for you thank you for watching this do hit the like button and subscribe as well and as always i will see you in the next one